One of the advantages of having an e-commerce store versus a physical store is the ability to track what customers do, where they come from, how much they spend, when they exit, when they come back, all the data is at our fingertips. And typically we've been using Shopify analytics to get that data. Now that's pretty good, but it's really basic and not comprehensive enough for us to make decisions on what we need to do to optimize our store and get more sales. So what some of us have done is we've installed Google Analytics and we've installed the script which is called Universal Analytics and that's been around for like 10 years. Over the last two years, Google has slowly been rolling out something called GA4, which is Google Analytics 4, but it's never really been that compatible with Shopify until now. Shopify have now upgraded their Google app so that GA4 works really, really well and seamlessly integrates into Shopify. I'm gonna take you through in this video exactly how to install GA4 onto your Shopify store so I can track all your sales directly in Google Analytics. My name is Brendan Gillen and I've been working in e-commerce for over 15 years. I now run my own seven-figure Shopify store and I coach e-commerce entrepreneurs just like you how to start, grow and scale their e-commerce businesses using the skills and experiences that I have achieved in the last 15 years. Now to get started on installing GA4, we need to jump into our Shopify store. So I'm here in one of my demo stores called EcoHut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across to the app section of the store and we're gonna go to apps and sales channel settings. Click over Shopify app store and we're gonna search for Google. Now this is gonna bring up the Google channel. Let's click that one and let's click add app. Now Shopify is now gonna take us through how to connect our Google account directly into here. So firstly, what we're gonna do is click connect Google account. Now this is the Google account that you're going to want to use to create the analytics account with. Okay, so mine's just connecting and now we have to set up a few different steps. So now that you've connected your Google account, we see this pop up here that says, are you looking only to set up Google Analytics 4? Now that's all we're going to do today. This app does do some extra features. It allows you to connect to Google Merchant Center and it allows you to set up ads directly into Google Advertising Platform. We're not gonna go through this today, but we might do it on a video in the future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I do that one. All right, so let's click get started. Now it's going to ask us to connect to an existing Google Analytics 4 account. Now I'm going to assume that you haven't already set one up. So let's go into Google Analytics now and let's create a GA4 account. So I want you to browse to analytics.google.com and it's gonna come up with welcome to Google Analytics. So if you don't have a Google Analytics account, we're gonna create one now. We'll click start measuring and we're gonna give it a new name. So we're gonna call this EcoHeart GA4 Demo, okay? I want you to call it something that you recognize. This section here, we just go past, click next. We're gonna fill out all the details that we need here. Eco Hut Australia demo. Uh, we'll choose the time zone. We are in Australia. Cool. And we're not in Perth. We are in Melbourne. And we use Australian dollar. All right, click next. Now this is just a little bit of a survey, so make sure you fill it out with what you want to use it for. We're gonna use it to increase my conversion, analyze my online sales, and we'll click create. This is gonna go ahead and create a GA4 account for you. So click accept. Awesome, that is now all created. So unless you wanna get spammed by Google, I'd recommend not ticking all these. So let's just click save. All right, now I'm just gonna cross it out here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna start collecting data from our website. So we're gonna choose the platform web and we're gonna type our website in here. We'll give it a name. And we're just gonna leave it like this. We're gonna click create stream, but we'll leave all those settings there like that. Awesome, this is great. So that's all good to go. And now what we wanna do is go back to Shopify and connect the dots. Now, if you're not seeing it here, we'll just click refresh and you should see the new analytics property that you've created directly here in Shopify. You can see that here, the EcoHut Australia demo. Let's click connect. And it says you've successfully set up Google Analytics 4. It's actually that easy, but I want to take it one step further and just make sure that it is working correctly. So what we want to do is we want to pop over to Google Analytics, click home, but what we can see here is we haven't got any data received from your website. So we want to make sure that this works. 
we want to browse to our website, we'll go to our home page and we're just going to refresh the page and just start browsing around, okay? So Google's going to track what we're doing on the site here and then tell us all about it in Google Analytics. Now we'll pop back to Google Analytics and see whether or not it's seen us. And if we turn back here, we can actually see that we've had one user in the last 30 minutes. So that works exceptionally well. All right, so that's the first thing. We now know that the tracking's working, but is it tracking all the things that we wanted to track? So what I want you to do now is install a Chrome extension. Now the Chrome extension is called Google Analytics Debugger. So I want you to get that and click install on Chrome. I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna show you how to use it now. Browse to your homepage. And once the extension's installed, I want you to click it and I want you to enable it by clicking Google Analytics Debugger. That's gonna turn it on for your store here. So we'll just go through now and I want you to browse to one of your products and I want you to click it and I want you to click Add to Cart, okay? So what's happening here is we're sending signals into Google Analytics so that we can see whether or not they work. So now let's go back to Google Analytics and I want you to click down the bottom here where it says Admin and then I want you to scroll down and click debug view. Now what we're gonna see is a live view of the events that Google Analytics is tracking. So we can now see it says page view, so we can see the page and all the details about that, and then user engagement. And that is the add to cart that we've done. All right, so now this is working exceptionally well. We can see that it's tracking all the data, it's tracking everything that we're doing, and it's connecting perfectly into GA4. And now you can turn off the debugger by going into your store, clicking the debugger, and that will turn it off. So that's that, Google Analytics 4 installed on your Shopify store, and it was super easy. I'm thinking of creating a video around how to use GA4 and how to understand the data in it so you can make better decisions out of the data so you can optimize your store. If you're interested in that video, make sure you subscribe, comment down below exactly what you want to learn about Google Analytics, and I will create a video on it.